Hey guys, it's Saturday, February the 17th of 2024, and this is Market Recap. So without any further delay, let's get into it. So we're looking at our UX2, the uranium sector, which is hot right now. Uh, but we know using GAN technique that we have the GAN fans that are resistance here, and we also have, have a 45 degree going up here, and it's kind of stalling. We're having a tough time at 106. So we pushed here, came down, pushed there fail it's a couple of things could go sideways could try it again and break through or it could from here uh, retrace a little bit to it until it finds support and then retest it again in the future but so far there is some resistance there looking at coal uh, i had a maxes out over here and you can see that over here there's some kind of support there's a 8950 there is a 8490 there is one up here around 79. You got a uh, $90 there. Uh, you got also 77. So, so far there is some res uh, support down there. If it gets down there using a five year, you can see the low right here was 93 and we're hovering around 94.45. So I went ahead and looked at see where I could find some stocks on coal. And I'm going to put this link uh, usnews.com where you could check out some coal stocks if you're interested here's a few a little description uh, there's a, this is a big ball of stock right there uh, there's you know different ones is $11 sun coke uh, $19 $35 one 747 Alador energy 24 Peabody American Resources, $1.44, kind of a penny stock. But anyway, I'll put that there just in case you're interested in some coal stocks, but it's uh, pushing lower and, you know, buy low, sell high. All right, so let's go into the uh, what is going on with all these sectors. As you can see, that gas is the worst of the bunch on the weekly. Uh, let's look at the uh, monthly. You can see that gas, same thing. With ethanol and corn on the monthly on the MTD natural gas very oversold palladium somewhere around here it's kind of creeping up maybe it's moving away from the bottom net gas continues also with soybean canola and corn halfway of the year net gas gets the trophy of the most sold off the uh, the commodities palladium is right there soybean canola vix uh year the vix is taking the lead there natural gas at the bottom of the barrel palladium palladium and that gas are my favorites ones that i'm watching and year to date natural gas palladium year to date the two worst of the bunch so let's go into our weekly and just look at the indices you can see just kind of sideways action here on the Jones, Dow Jones, sideways. Actually, let's go, I like the weekly better. Let's see if we can open this up because the weekly kind of tells you more information. Just undecided. Kind of grinding higher and a little more choppy on the S&P. Uh, inside bar, pretty much on all three of these. Russell having a tough time catching up, even at least taking out the high, so it's kind of chopping there. Nikkei is probably the strongest one, pushing aggressively upward with the Euro also, and the DAX kind of grinding sideways to a slight higher bias. And the VIX, remember it was always 13, around there, 14, 13. Look, it's moving now. Got this nice spike up, and then they pushed it back down. So now it's at 15, so it's kind of waking up. Interesting. Could it be maybe there's a possible turning point coming on the next couple of days or weeks? And they're building a position. You never know. You never know. Crude oil, just pure chop fest. That's why I'm, the, I'm not even covering crude oil or looking at it. I mean, look at the monthly. You've been sideways here. Nothing happening. I mean, you can make money trading crude. You just have to be in and out, but in order to like get something like this where you could just buy it and not worry about it and just put a trend line, it's not happening here. So let's go back to the, uh, yeah, you can see, leave it at the monthly. You can see how it just 
choppy it is. Natural gas pushing lower, but let's go to the weekly because you can see a little bit better. Inside bars, not going higher than 80, but not taking out, you know, that 73. Uh, same thing with uh, crude oil Brent. Undecided candle here on Arbob. The election is coming up, so I don't, can't see Arbob, you know, exploding with elections coming up. So it's going to probably have a cap here and just kind of go sideways. Heating oil, same thing. Looks like it was going to be a breakout, and then it pushed back in. Natural gas, obviously the black widow, the black sheep of the bunch, uh, even pushing lower, uh, also with ethanol. Look at softs, cocoa now showing, you know, little resistance up here, but nothing major, just an inside weak bar there. Uh, same thing with cotton, but definitely very strong turning to the upside. Orange juice got a sell off here and then bulls came and bought it. It'll be interesting to maybe put an alert. To see if it wants to even test that high uh, or take out this low or test this low here. Coffee, chop fest, nothing there to trade. Lumber, chop. Sugar, maybe an ABC correction down. Looks like it's stalled here. It was here for three weeks at 24. And now it's pushing lower. So maybe it might test 20 bucks. We'll see. Metals, chop fest. When I say chop, I mean you can't. You can't just put a position and thinking that it's going to trend higher. This is just going sideways. This is a kind of game or trading where you're like scalping, you know, five, ten points, whatever, or two, three. You're just getting in and out, in and out. Because it's not really doing much. You know, you just got to see where the range is and then just buy it and sell it. More for day trader here or for, you know, algos. But for like buying it and going to work and, you know, once in a while looking in, this is not the type of environment to be investing on that. Silver, chop fest. Platinum, you know, just like retrace, pull back, back into chop fest. Copper, chop fest. I mean, look at it on the monthly. Chop. Chop. Chop for three days here. It, it, it does a range here. And now we're in this range for three weeks, actually three months. This is the monthly copper chop. Palladium is uh, the only one I like, and you can see something's going on. We're at 950. So we got a nice uh, weekly candle that bounced, but didn't really take out the previous week. So we'll have to see what's cooking there. Look at that low and throw in some technicals and see if this is the low. But it's on my radar. Meat. Uh, nice bounce. It was a good short here. I got out and I didn't get this bounce. I'm watching it. I want to see if it's going to take this high out. Oh, if it's going to be a fail new high and then really go down. Same thing with feeder. Lean hog, same thing. Uh, but these are probably my favorite in regards to uh, meats. Grains, corn selling down, soybean. I mean, you can put the monthly, you can just kind of see we're entering some support here. You got a two months here holding this low. So that's interesting. It might bounce here if this holds. If February holds here comes March, and I don't know the seasonality on this one, it could probably bounce. You always have to put a trend line and see if it breaks through. Soybean pushing lower now. I think support would be somewhere around here. Oats. Just chop fest, you got one, two, three, four months of sideways price action. So nothing there on oats. Uh, rough rice, chop. Just kind of looks like it's selling off there. Looks like it's starting to trim, but kind of early to tell. Unless you take out $20, then you'll probably go test the high. This is interesting. Soybeans, if this doesn't hold this area right here, it could probably push lower, but let's see kind of early to tell this is the uh, weekly uh, selling off selling off you can put the weekly on here maybe you can kind of tell yeah just pushing lower some kind of support here selling off let's go into a uh, currencies another one I watch is the dollar king dollar I want you to notice something look at king dollar pushing higher and everybody retracing uh, kind of sideways but yeah retracing and then look at look at this move of the dollar and then look at the metals sideways interesting huh 
that the dollar is not uh, dollar is not affecting gold. It's, it's not giving it pressure. Might probably got a little pressure here on silver, but gold is just going sideways. Just pure chop. While the dollar gets this nice little swing to the upside. I'm watching it to see if it's going to go and test this high. Or if it's going to stall right here because it's this the swing pivot highs right here. And then just, you know, go back down or just be in this range of chop between 100 and like 105, 106 around there. That's it for me. I'm going to sign out. Just wanted to post this uh, market recap, my thoughts on the uh, sectors and all that. And I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the market cap. Did I say market cap? And I'm not feeling good. I should have said market recap. Have a good weekend.